In this video, I will show you how to create a knowledge base in SharePoint. Start by navigating to SharePoint and clicking on the Create Site option located at the upper left hand corner of your screen. For a knowledge base, a communication site works best, as it is designed to share information and resources with a broad audience. After that, you'll see several templates to choose from. Scroll down and select the Learning Central template, which is the closest to a knowledge base site. Click on Use Template and then enter a name for your site. You can also add a description if you'd like. Click Next, select your preferred language, and then click Create Site. SharePoint will take a few moments to create your site using the selected template. Once the site is created, you can customize its appearance before adding content. Click on the gear icon at the upper right hand corner of the screen and select Change the Look. Here, you can modify the theme, header, and footer of your site. To change the theme, click on Theme and select a color scheme that suits your organization. Don't forget to click Save after making changes. Next, click on Header to customize the layout and add a background image or logo. You can upload your organization's logo by clicking Change and selecting the file from your device. Once you're satisfied with the changes, click Save. To add content to your knowledge base, click on the Edit option on the right side of the screen. This will prepare the page for editing. For example, if you want to add an introduction video, click on the section icon to create a new section. Choose a layout, such as a one-third layout, which allows you to add a video on one side and text on the other. Click on the plus icon within the section, scroll down, and select File and Media. Upload your video from your device and click Add File. On the other side of the section, add text to provide information about the video or the site owner. You can format the text by making it bold, italic, or changing its color. Once you're done, click Republish to make the changes live. You can make further changes in site if you want by clicking on the Edit option again, and by following these steps, you can create a fully functional knowledge base in SharePoint that serves as a central hub for information and resources.